Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm playing this game here. Just kidding, I'm not I'm not playing this game. This is just footage I'm putting in front of you cuz uh I hate making you stare at the uh the placeholder image on the on on the actual stream. So here's here's some gameplay just while I talk before the show. Hello, you glorious people. It's a glorious day. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited. This uh this comes so infrequently. So few times in our lives do we get to sit here in the 10, 15 minutes before a Nintendo E3 presentation. It's just, it truly is Christmas. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not great. I'm still a little, like I said in the pre-show, I'm kind of like, I don't know about this one. I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Um... But it doesn't matter. I'm still excited, and I still will always be just so happy to be here. You know what I mean? Just so excited that it's happening because you just... That, in fact, makes it kind of more exciting. Not knowing not knowing how good it's going to be. It's just like if we always knew it was going to be... Okay, well, obviously, it would still <laughs> it would still be plenty exciting if we always knew it was going to be good. But uh, this puts me more on the edge of my seat, certainly. Um, how are you today? I'm so good. I'm so excited. I'm just so happy. We're going to see Smash Brothers at the... Like, whatever else they announce or don't announce, we see Smash Brothers at the very least. We know they're going to be talking about it a ton. And I've said this a couple places before, but, like, at, Smash is going to carry the show to a very large degree. I don't believe it can carry the show all by itself. Like, say they didn't announce anything. <laughs> and, like, all they did was show uh, footage from previously announced games. It still wouldn't be the worst one in the world because we get to see Smash Brothers. You know what I mean? Like we 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 they already revealed that it was coming and that made for a really good Nintendo Direct before, but now it's just like we still don't know anything about it other than Inklings will be in it. But now it's gonna be it's gonna be character reveals. It's gonna be all this stuff. We're gonna know what kind of game it is, and uh, and like that's really exciting. That all by itself. So it's like you know it can't be a disaster. You know, like there's no possible way for this for this direct to be a complete letdown because we have at least that. And like, and they're gonna have a few other announcements. Like, of course they are. I'm, Animal Crossing is really, 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 really likely. I, it just, I don't see how it can't be. Like, yeah, Pocket Camp came out last year. It's just been a long time. That's exactly the sort of game that they want on their Switch. You know, I mean, it's it's performed really well on most systems. It did really, really well on the 3DS. It's just, uh, it's inevitable. And just, it feels like we finally hit that point where I stopped, you know, like I said, for a while, New Leaf seemed like it was a little too new. Um, but now I'm like, no, no, it's time. It is definitely time for New Animal Crossing. Maybe not, but uh, I could easily see it. Pikmin 4 again, I could easily see that just because they've been working on it for so long. I could just as easily not see it because also because it's Pikmin, <laughs> the elusive Pikmin game. Um, but still very possible. I think Animal Crossing may be a little more likely just because it's a really popular thing, and I'm sure they really want to get it on their Switch, and also the, you know, Nintendo Switch Online is going to be launching. They want a lot of good games that use online to a great degree. It just feels like a perfect fit, especially for launch this year. Um, those are possible. Then there's the retro rumor. I don't want to talk about it too much in case you did skip over that part in my pre-show or whatever, but it's the, the, the rumored retro game. Um... That would do it pretty well. I don't think it would do it all by itself. Like if it was just Smash and then just that, I think they need at least one other thing. That's why Animal Crossing would be perfect. We'll see. It will at the very least be cool to see more info on Yoshi. That was looking pretty all right. And uh, again, I mean, it's been a year since we heard about it. I just, it's just been a year. I'm just like, let, let me know. I don't even know if it's a game I'll end up liking. I just want to know more about it because it's been forever. Same with Fire Emblem. Show us Fire Emblem. And, uh, and that's another cool thing is like, again, even if there aren't a ton of big announcements, at the very least, if they show off Fire Emblem, which we previously haven't known anything about, that still kind of feels like a reveal because they're revealing the gameplay. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know about that one. Um, it's going to be good, though. I'm very excited. We're, I'm sitting here. I'm waiting. I'm looking at the clock. I'm, I'm tapping my foot. Hear that? It's me just tapping my foot super hard on the floor. Drumming my fingers on the couch, tapping, tapping all my feet and all my fingers on the couch. Oh boy, what am I doing? Oh goodness, I'm so excited. Let me just let me just say how I'm so excited over and over again for the next for the next seven minutes. Let's just do that. Um, 
I watched the Splatoon 2 World Championship yesterday. I'm pretty excited about that coming uh, after the show. See who wins. That was neat. Who cares, though? Nintendo Direct. How interesting is it that they finally just did... It's just Nintendo Direct E3 2018. Like, they... It's like since making the Directs, they still wanted to make their E3 thing kind of different. Presenta- I don't remember all the names from before, but there was always just something digital event, that kind of thing. It's like, why? Just It's just the Nintendo Direct for E3. And that's where they finally were just like, okay, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's the Nintendo Direct E3 2018. Because why not? It is a Nintendo Direct. It's the same exact thing. That's what it is. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man, this is it. This is the these final, oh, these final few delicious moments before a Nintendo E3 presentation. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just love it. And you might have seen me talking about this on Twitter. It's actually pretty funny that like, like if I count all the all the press conferences that I was interested in watching, all of them were in actual like perfect, literally exact order from least exciting to most exciting. So, like, it was really cool, like, watching E3 over the last few days and just getting more and more pumped. You know what I mean? Like, it started with EA. I don't know why I watch EA. Kind of just because you never know what they're going to do, and it's kind of uncomfortable and, I don't know, a morbid curiosity, I guess. <laughs> and then it went to Xbox. I'm usually not that excited about Xbox. Although, funny enough, they've had the best show so far. Um, they, had a, they really knocked it out of the park. Uh, but still, like, looking at it, you know, beforehand... Xbox was the next one up, then Bethesda, because they've been doing some cool... I mean, you know, I like some of their games, and they've been doing Nintendo stuff. Then Ubisoft, uh, again, because I like a lot of their games. They put on a big show. And then Sony, which, you know, I got a PS4, so and they do a lot of cool first-party stuff. So they're they're like the... They're my, they're my second one. My second one that I'm most excited to see. And then finishing off the entire thing with Nintendo, it's just perfect. Like, I could not have asked for it to be any more perfect. Um... This year, I did end up watching Square Enix, and if you put that in the list, it probably messes it up. I don't know. I actually don't know what order that goes in. I haven't watched it before. Um, pretty disappointing, to be honest. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'll tune in next year. But, uh, yeah, so that was funny. Just like It's this, it's this beautiful, crazy buildup just leading up to Nintendo, and it's kind of, and there's nothing else after that. Like, that's when, you know, E3 fully starts... And it's all just like, okay, shows are over. Let's just do E3, which of course means me working and talking about the shows that we saw and other people, other lucky people in LA actually like going and playing all the games and stuff. And then of course like Treehouse, those are always fun. I uh, I don't know, what are they doing in the Treehouse? Are they just probably just showcasing some games? I don't know if they're going to do like they did last year and actually like announce some games. I know they announced a few 3DS games, obviously Samus Returns, which like I would have... If I had known that was coming, I would have tuned into the treehouse and done a reaction to it and everything, but I didn't, and so I was a little disappointed about that. But uh, who knows? Who even knows what they're going to do in the treehouse? Probably a lot of Smash. <laughs> Probably l- just lots and lots and lots of Smash. Um, but hey, that'd be cool. People want want an in-depth look at Smash, so so give it to them. Oh, what are we at? Oh, it's 856. Oh, my goodness, it's 856. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, there it is. All right. I'm all right. Just a little more. A little more of this. No more of that. Just to get me going. Get me through the next four minutes. <laughs> okay, no more of that. That's very annoying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on this right now while I while I have your attention. Um, here's the thing. Like I get a lot of people saying, "Hey, you have the audio too quiet in your uh, in your little in your presentation reactions," and uh, and I do and I do understand. Here's the thing: is like if I have it too loud, then um, it's going to be hard for you to hear me over them and vice versa. You know what I mean? Like when I'm t- sometimes I'm talking over what they're saying and it's going to be too hard and it would take a really long time if I wanted to like go through and adjust the volume with like envelopes, like use every single time I talk and like lowering the volume that and then like going back up again. So like I kind of, it's kind of a necessary evil keeping it low. I kind of figure most people are going to watch it first, like right now. And then come get my reaction later. I know it's not true with everybody. And I'm very sorry if you're one of those people who uh, wants to watch it for the first time with me. I'm very honored, by the way. Extremely honored. Um, it's just kind of the way I got to do it. Just, it makes it so, so much easier for me. And I know it's annoying for some people. I try to get it at a level that I think is comfortable. Where you can mostly hear what they're saying 
at least when I'm not talking. But uh, so I don't know. I'm sorry about that. If you're one of the people that that has um, that that has affected. But uh, it's just kind of the way I'm, I'm I'm pulling the lazy card on this one. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'd be a little bit lazy on that one just because I can't think of a much better way. And especially to get it out quick. I need to get these out as quick as possible. And I can't be doing like a whole bunch of whole bunch of post production on them. OK, it's going to be it's uh, going to be any second now. Thank you for joining me here on the couch in front of my TV. We are going to be watching the Nintendo now, soon. The Nintendo where they tell games at us. And it is June. That's the kind of games they're telling at us, is the ones in the June. With the three E's. I'm breaking down. I gotta stop. I gotta stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking until it starts. And then I'll start talking like crazy. Okay, one more thing. I'm really excited, guys. <laughs> That's my one, one more thing. Is all I'm gonna say is I can't wait for it to start, and I will enjoy watching it. Okay, that's the last thing. No more, no more talking till it starts. One more thing. One tiny, tiny thing that I want to tell you. It's that I like Nintendo games. I like to play Nintendo games. And that's why I like to watch this. You might have been confused. You might have been like, why do you like watching this? Oh, it's because I like to play Nintendo games. It is 9. It is 9 a.m. It is 9 a.m. It is 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Oh, it's counting down. Okay, here we go. Two. One. Bam! Start now. I'm seeing robots. What are these robots? That's pretty cool. What is this? What is this? They're starting the show with this? What is this? Is a Gundam game or something? Very odd choice to start the show. The Transformers, is it? I so there's so many robot things. I don't know any of them. Pretty hardcore soundtrack though. <laughs> Damon, Demon, X, Machinima. Brought to you by Machinima. Oh, Deus X Machina. That's what it's had. Kablamo. He's Kablamo in every single one of those big robots. He's real good at that. He's real good at Kablamo in. Alright. It's a lot. Oh. Damon X Machina. Machina. Okay. Who Who's doing that? What? Is that a Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Not even like a person. It's just kind of giving us games. It's very interesting. Just kind of launching in with some games. This is another one. I don't know what it is. And it's more Gundams. <laughs> oh, is this a... Uh... Oh, it's probably... It was a story DLC for Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2. I think people were talking about this, weren't they? Either they hoped or they knew it was coming, but they wanted a reveal or something. Oh, 
に頼みたいことはただ一つあのメッドを葬り去ってもらうことなのだから I'm very happy for all the people who like this game and are excited that this is a thing that's happening I would say that's that's my commentary <laughs> that's my uh that's my very entertaining commentary on what I'm seeing right now The next game we see better have robots too. They're really building up my my robot, my need for robots. Torna, the golden country. Cool. That's a thing. Here we go. Hey, Reggie. I saw a picture of him without a suit recently. Weirded me out. Very wrong. I'm on the road to become the. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Greatest champion. A new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like. Pikachu or Eevee? Uh, you mean Eevee? Oh wait, Eevee can't evolve. Uh, you mean Pikachu? <laughs> Kind of hoping for new footage here. This is a Pokemon. It's kind of just a recap. You can use it like a Joy-Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball truck, then bring it with you. Sounds like there's already one inside. Whoa, that's so scary. Mythical Pokemon you will Whoa. Comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through. I want a Mew. My own Mew I get to keep in a Pokeball? I feel like a... I feel like an amazing... I'm not going to say it's mysterious and enchanting. We're pretty familiar with it. <laughs> I like those words. Yep, yep. There it is. <laughs> it was inevitable. I don't know why this wasn't popping up in my predictions. It's inevitable. All the Joy-Con sharing and everything. Of course, Mario Party. You can... Whoa, what is this? You can, like... Finally, you can do... Oh, with the... Oh, whoa! With the different... Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> My mind is blowing! Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Are you guys ready to do this? They definitely heard what you just said. All right, so like, you know, I'm sure there will be plenty with, uh, plenty with just like the two Joy-Cons, but it's kind of fun that like, uh, there's a, a bigger focus on sharing switches. Mario Party. <laughs> there it is. Seriously, I really wish I had predicted that. Why did I not predict that? It was I was completely inevitable. That it was probably coming even soon. And yet I just I just didn't. I just think of it. Didn't think of it. That's cute. The tricycle one. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Super Mario Party, interesting. Change the, you know. Thingy thing. Name. Long ago, the divine servants received a revelation from the goddess. A gift 
and her gun for loss. Now the guard watches over her from her kingdom above. Oh, oh hey. As the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. Looks like a fire emblem to me. Tree houses? I love tree houses. Do you get to have your own tree house? Or even multiple, because it's called tree houses? I'm sorry. I'm very glad that there, there's, you know, gameplay too. A little surprised by how plain the, uh, I mean, like the battle parts look good when it zooms in, but like when you're like top down, looks pretty plain. Looks like they just took the Fire Emblem Warriors places <laughs> and just like used those. Hey man, that's great. I bet a lot of people are really freaking out right now. Ah, oh, please this year. I really, I'm, uh, I hope they even give us a date. Please this year. It's just been so long in coming, you know? And I don't want, I don't want a game to be, a uh, first party Nintendo game to be delayed. They can't break their perfect streak. So three houses, does that mean there's going to be three versions of the game? <laughs> you got to buy all three to get the whole story. Oh, no, no, the record is broken. This better be Viva Pinata. Oh. The record is broken. I'm so sad. I mean, they did say 2018, right? Did they give a date? I'm pretty sure they gave it. Oh, man. Here it is, Fortnite. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this after the trillions and millions of leaks and data mining and all this stuff. Didn't see it coming. <laughs> it's like Fortnite, but the Battle Royale mode uh, is coming later. You just get like the main Fortnite, not the Battle Royale one. That'd be pretty funny. People be... Today, hey, that's cool. That's cool that it's dropping today. I like that. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete battle royale experience, whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, the home console where you can access a full range of games content including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. Yeah, it has. To all of you, as well as all of the developers... People have been going crazy on them. ...and varied experiences. From all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. You are super welcome, Reggie. ...on a few more. Thank you. ...including two we're showing for the first time here today. I like that. ...inspiring chef, ready your covers... Yeah. <laughs> in Overcooked 2, a sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchen, and right I've never understood for the, ultimate cook -off. the enormous popularity of, of these games. That can change on the fly. I mean, like, it's fun. I mean, especially this is really cool with all the crazy worlds and stuff. I don't know. It's just it's something about the gameplay is just so, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really appeal to me. It's just very simplistic. It's very... Mini game e, but not the kind of mini game I would want to make a whole game out of. I don't know. That's just me though. Obviously, it's very popular. Sell very well. There's a lot going on on that screen. I feel like in handheld mode, they'd be so tiny. Like right there, <laughs> when it pans out, it's just gonna be like squinting so hard. Yeah, here we go. Oh, everyone's been telling me about this. I want to play it so bad, but I've been waiting for it on Switch. 
filled with gripping combat and haunting scenes. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery Metroidvania. in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. They didn't want to call it Metroidvania. No, it's platformer. Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, uh -huh. is available on the Nintendo eShop. Uh-huh. Whoa! Come on, nothing gets us more excited than today drops. Stay tuned for Nintendo to help Live. Streaming right from the E3 <laughs> This is it? You ending? Game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon. I can't either. Pretty excited. That was a really fun last night. Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. The action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Traveler from Square <laughs> is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch. We don't need an update. It's coming out in like two seconds. And you can download a brand new demo for Ooh, that's cool. the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Um, it's been pretty slow so far. My, uh, it's been a little, pretty in line with what, I mean, just, well, you know, I was saying I wasn't expecting a ton. I'm kind of like, yeah, nothing's really blown us away so far. I'm a little worried that we'll get a couple more games like this and then it'll just end with Smash. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get something. I just hope Mario Party wasn't like, well, yeah, that's, that was their other first party reveal we don't have so many first party reveals octo expansion cannot wait 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 wait. no date you just still saying summer 2018 gotta give us a day it's nintendo direct man ah well hey they're it's cool that they're doing the sizzle reel of all these games instead of like you know devoting a ton of time to them it's like splatoon with bats Oh yeah, Ark. That's coming, isn't it? Follow Shelter. That's pretty cool. I still don't know if I'll play it on my Switch or if I'll just do it on my phone. I mean, it's been on my phone. I just haven't played it. Good to have a drag uh, uh, Monster Hunter on there, even if it's not World. June 29th. Hoping for a review copy of Wolfenstein. Boy, that one's taking a long time, isn't it? World ends with you. That one's coming up. Played the, the demo like a ton. Way more fun with it than I thought I would. Hello. We know who you are. Yeah, it's all right. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world. And we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Uh, does that mean... Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. Oh, uh, boy. Turn it over to someone I think you know. So, now's where I'm scared that that was it for new announcements. <laughs> you know? Because he said that's what we're working on, and here's Smash Brothers. Little scared. Oh, well, let's enjoy this. I am. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. 
Okay. I would like to see it. Oh, you mean like old ones. There's my Sammy. Yeah, Giga Bowser. I remember being so blown away with how cool Giga Bowser was. Oh, here's Link. Nah, he's the same old Link, isn't he? He's not. He's not special Breath of the Wild Link. Oh well. Cool. Different luck for her, too. Wait. I thought you were going in order. Didn't he say he was going in order? No, they're not. Oh, the number indicates what order they were, but they're not. Go okay, I get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of people happy about that. It seemed, it seemed like it was a given. Yeah. Okay, don't do too many reveals super quick. We like your cool, like, cinematics. Whoa! Whoa, they brought... Wait, hold on. Are they just showing us the old ones, or are they saying these are in the game? Did they really bring back Pokemon Trainer? They did not. Everyone hated Pokemon Trainer. I like Pokemon Trainer. <laughs> Cloud's coming back. I think. I still don't know exactly what I'm seeing. Whoa. Wow. Everyone is here. Are they just basically saying every single character that's ever been in the games is here? Is Bayonetta. This is a game of watch. Man. Wow, I think they are. It's just like every every character ever. Everyone ever. No man left behind. All of Arlo's predictions are wrong. And you're like, oh. it's like a big reunion. Yep, wrong ski about that one. There's Wolf. All coming back. Wow. That's pretty cool. Ultimate. Ooh. Oh, rad. <laughs> Don't forget us. Maybe they were, it's a sequel and a port. It's a port of every game together. Plus Inklings. <laughs> That's right. every fighter in Super Smash Brothers history wow, that is cool. Are they going to even add more? That's so many characters. This is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process simple so it feels like it's That's pretty fun. I like my unlocks. My casual unlocks. Now tell me every stage is coming back. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they came into the last appearance. Ooh. New move set for Ganondorf? But we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure 
<laughs> cool. Okay, that's a difference at least. Different, uh, different Final Smash. It's a little something. Lots of cool costumes. Okay. We now have the female version of Pikachu complete with a heart shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu E Ray is a girl? Okay. Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Heroes, and his final smash has received an overhaul. Hooray. <laughs> That's cool. Way more fast paced Final Smashes. Cloudflow's Final Smash features an unorthodox hit formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Falco, what are you doing up there? I got this, Fox. In one on one fights, Mew will always take your opponent, just like in his original gaming system. It's a small touch, but it's huh. just accidental shenanigans. Interesting. Oh, cool. You can cancel the jump to dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Mark's dancing blade is faster than you. The Smash community is just exploding right now. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. In addition, Mark is now... I don't know if they're happy or sad. I mean, like, if they don't end up really revealing a lot of other characters, if any, like, I wonder if this is a fair trade, you know? I don't know. Having to update all these old characters probably takes a lot of work. I don't know if they have time to make new characters. So do they just, like... Are they just cutscenes now? Do you not even aim them? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Loved Pichu. It's a power file. Huh. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, so we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attack. Her final smash is a speedy move and it's Triforce and Zero. I think they wanted to prioritize being able to have eight players, because those backgrounds do not look super good. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow or he's lightning fast. At least from right now. I don't know. It's pretty pretty low low detail. Are they going to have the option for just Charizard? This time, there's no penalty for taking the coin, so feel free to take your mate. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. I guess that's it, if there's no penalty, which I only learned about, like, way later. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. That's kind of fun. And of course, his hazardous big blue cape is made Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his final Dude, I think that's why they didn't that's why they wouldn't tell us if it was a port or a sequel is cuz it's just kind of a mash of every smash. Now you can see him initiate Pikachu's damage defense at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. Does that mean every feature is coming back? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I bet it does. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villages. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is 
even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island. Cool. Someone hit him with an egg. Mr. Game & Watch moves so fast. He looks even more like he did in his original game. His transformations are more full of character than ever. <laughs> that octopus, man. <laughs> Mess you up. Wow. Long, long milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received significant upgrades. Upgrade like stronger? Kirby is his usual puppy self. But we've added a little something to his stone ability. The Why was it a Breath of the Wild chest? Shell used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado. But now you can choose the specific one for the button press. Pick the best one for you. Sure, it's handy to change parts on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final track. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. But with ah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting a whole new move set. I just wanted one. Oh well. Why well, this is all a return to the usual, so yeah, it makes sense. I want to put like my own voice into my maze. All like my own like pain noises and stuff. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Hey, yeah, that'd be funny. That's awesome. Hey, Lamar, lead into Pikmin Four. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was like an actual like thing. <laughs> if it cracks all the way, he suffocates. Oh, right now the best best hope we have is for a one more thing, and it's the retro thing. Because I don't think they're gonna just launch into a whole other slew of new games after this. Well, they've really overhauled the Final Smash system, haven't they? You should have to shake the, <laughs> shake the Joy Cons. <laughs> what were the eyes? That was amazing. Boy, that's Nintendo, man. Doing the unexpected. We expect new players in the new Smash. We expect a bunch of new stuff. You're getting the old stuff. <laughs> I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the DJ developer. It's, no, it's cool. Like, I'm not, I mean, yeah, we still don't know yet. If there's not a lot of new stuff, that will be disappointing to a point. But then at the same time, like, it's still really cool because that's still a lot of content. That's why they didn't tell us. That's why. We we're like, why wouldn't they tell us? There's no reason not to tell us. There was a reason, and this is the exact reason. In that way, it feels like it should have been obvious, like usual. Yeah. Called it. Although, 
kind of a clone. I thought they were moving away from clones. Now let's give them a different name. Uh, I was right. There we go. Yes. Oh, right. How's this going to work? So it's basically like Mario Kart. With just Inkling as the new character, but still basically the same game. <laughs> Can you not move through it? That's fun. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, it's not just visibility. It's actually, like, the edges of the screen. Nope, there goes that. <laughs> oh, wow, you can kill him. No Waluigi. Got Daisy, though. Again, so much for character. Oh, man. <laughs> Assist trophies. Basically, here are all the characters that still aren't in the game. Aww. It's still cool, though. It's still cool that they're in there. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this is it. I'm getting the feeling that... They're... Whoa, that's cool. Whoa. Two Smash Balls! Whoa! Oh, it's a fake one. That, like, blows you up. How many stages? Bring back the big version of the Great Fox! Okay, that's, that looks pretty good. That looks a lot better. It must just be like when they zoom in, it doesn't look as good, but... Cool. Whoa! Forgive me if these are all, like, old ones, because I didn't play the 3DS and Wii U ones. But that was cool. Like, I, I'm not... I remember that one. I'm, I'm not familiar enough to know if, like, every single thing we've been seeing has been old stuff and there is no new stages. I don't know. That was new to me. Very nice. Obviously a new one. What's happening? That's cool. I like it. All stages now have both battlefield and cool. These versions cover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same. To savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during a battle. Matters. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. Cool. Come in handy when recovering from a fall. 
Cool. I like that. That's cool. So you don't want to overuse it. Did not know that. <laughs> perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one on one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. Huh. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. We've got something special for your playing pleasure by the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. The GameCube controller. This is my preferred thing. Yeah, what do they do? In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player or SD and level up. All right, same thing, basically. Every single fighter ever, our number one goal. So I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challenges. Uh, are there any? We do have one more announcement. Please take a look. For Smash or for something else? For Smash. So we know we're not getting a lot. Hello. Uh oh. Oh ho ho. Oh, who's gonna come flying up out of that chasm? I wonder who. I wonder who. What kind of large, spiky tailed, dragonoidal figure? Oh man, he's just killing them all. He's, mur he's murdering every last one of them. Oh, they did it. She's like, oh no. Oh, please no. Oh, Mario's dead. <laughs> Ridley is an assist trophy. Wow. No way. Oh, he's big. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's a big guy. Oh, he's too big. He can't possibly. Yeah, he can. They can do anything they want. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, you know what? Even if there are not a lot of new fighters, the fact that they did that goes a long, long, long way. That is rad. He's my main. Definitely my main. Please don't end. Please be one more thing. Please don't end. What time is it? Oh, it's 9.42. Uh, leading into a Metroid Prime 4 teaser. December 7th. Yeah. This year. Please don't end. No, don't end. No, 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 no. That's not the end. That's not the end. That's not the end. No! No! Oh. Yeah. They did it. They did it, guys. They uh They did that thing where it was basically just smash. 
kind of like the worst case scenario was at least there will be smash and that was what they did plus mario party plus like a little oh no Oof. i mean ridley though oh boy that's rough <laughs> that's uh that's rough right there people are gonna be uh not too happy. Yeah, not even the retro one. Not retro, not Animal Crossing, not Pikmin, not anything. Just just Smash and Mario Party. So that's a thing. All right. Well, I don't think I think people are going to be pretty upset. That's all right. I'm like not I well, you know, you know my expectations were pretty tampered. They were pretty uh I tried to keep them fairly low, so I'm not, like, super mad right now. And there will be other Nintendo Directs and stuff, so it makes it a little easier, but... Yeesh, that's rough. Let's, um... Let's go, uh... Do some videos, I guess. Okay. Ridley, though! Hey, Ridley, though! That's, uh... That's worth a game announcement by itself, right? Oh, boy. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of Twitter mentions, aren't I?